Um, hi. So I like words a lot. Um, I use words a lot as well. And it was, it's been a really intense, beautifully intense experience here. And I write for me to make sense of what happened and for you to make sense of my experiences with people. And I'm hoping to share this with you and maybe some parts of it will resonate with you as well. Today was the day I thought, okay, now it's, it's all going to come together. I'm going to start writing. And I woke up and I wanted to start and write and I just sat there and the only thing I could come up with was, your hair is green. And, and that's all. And every time I said it, I just giggled and I just couldn't go further. And then until friends, new friends that I met here found me and, and I found my voice again, my words. So here goes. At the edge of the first row is a shy, tall, lanky guy. He follows us around with few words and a beautiful smile. He asked me if we drink mete in Beirut's hackerspace. I quickly said no and went back to listening to a bipolar girl singing her heart out to songs only she knew and perhaps a few others too. Okay, I was the only one who didn't know any of her songs, but she made the cells in my body just forget their functioning. My IP was high on her energy. The other day, I met a polymath, slowly revealing mind-blowing things he'd done, like a magician pulling out fantastic wonders out of his hat. He doesn't know it yet, but he's the first person here to make my eyes dance out of their sockets with delight when he said, it's okay to keep that child alive. He drew me open handcuffs, taken flight, the moment after I had put myself on the spotlight for the first time after a speech on a call to arms. And I was ready to run out of here, hide in the woods nearby for a little while until the camp was over. But he caught me at the entrance and said, your inspiration has legs. It will move forward. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I let myself believe it for a little while. I'm going to believe it for a little while. Postpone hiding in the woods for a little while. In the evening, all those words from debates on crypto cats and copyrights are carried away by the raging wind and all that's left is just people giggling like children under starlit skies. But soon, soon they'll go back to talking about that device that can pick up conversations from a crowd using microphones hung in a circle all around from a distance. And you, you might be listening in and if you are, read my lips. There are people in this room, tent, tent room, who live on a dime just to make the world less worse than it was yesterday. Their hair is red and blue and green and they walk around with purple flags and you might not be comfortable looking at rainbows, but there's something, they, they wait for that moment when something's lit up in other people's eyes. That kind of light that only shines when people finally get to do what they love. Now you, you can call me or you don't have to label me a hacker. And I don't have to label you a technologist. And this space doesn't just have to be for a few of us. That polymath told me that I am you and you are me. So it must apply to all of us. This morning, I woke up to a gifted Mette marmalade. It was handmade by that shawl, by that shy, tall, lanky guy with a beautiful smile. When he asked me about Mette in Beirut, I didn't ask back. And he didn't get to tell me that he created a new product for Mette. And I won't get to tell him that it was delicious, especially with peanut butter and toast. If you want to know what happened at OHM 2013, don't listen to me. Just ask a scientist. Thank you. <laughs>